If you have played the demo, you have most likely noticed the different times found throughout the game. Let's take a look at the theorized timeline and try to get our story together. When the VHS tape starts, we are led to believe it is 10.23 p.m. by the date on the video intro. As the crew progresses through the house, you find a ticking yet broken clock on the wall, stuck at 10.38. How do I know this is the exact time? Because geometry. Or math. Or science? <laughs> Eventually Andre eats his bedtime snack, Clancy gets captured, and the VHS tape comes to a close. At 10.39 p.m. But the time counts is an hour 43. Until it doesn't. The final two frames has the real time code, and it comes out to 10.39, just one minute after the clock stopped. The clock stopped when Andre died. Who spliced in the fake time? Over the next hour, Pete's dumbass gets captured too. Classic weekend sub. Real anchor would have escaped. What's that? By now it's 11.40 p.m., according to the second tape and the sewer gators are about to become leather. <laughs> As shown in the kitchen demo from 2015, both characters die. <laughs> so where does the hour and 43 minute time code fit in? Does something happen at 12.06? And what's with Clancy's watch? The time? Always 12.55. And like the clock in all three sewer gators, it is dead. <laughs> so what does this tell us aside from the fact that we have once again, enter the world of survival horror. At 10.38, not much, but we have two other possible clues left to spend our entire summer on. <laughs> You're right. 